Amphibians and Reptiles, Part 2. So, uh, Amphibian Diversity. There are three orders of amphibians. The first is Anora. This contains about 4,000 species of frogs and toads. The frog lives in a variety, frogs and toads uh, live in a variety of moist habitats. Uh, characteristics of both include uh, lacking legs and, or sorry, lacking tails and having long legs, uh, long hind legs specifically that enable jumping. Now, there are some differences between frogs and toads. A frog, a frog is going to have longer, more powerful legs, enabling bigger jumps. Uh, so a frog is going to be capable of big jumps, while a toad is going to be doing a little bit smaller, uh, more hopping and big jumps. The uh, skin of a frog, frog is going to have smooth moist skin versus a toad having bumpy and dry skin. Uh, reproduction, reproductively speaking, both need water, both have the aquatic larva but toads can live further from water uh, and frogs are going to find most often much closer to water. And then finally toads uh, have a kidney bean shaped gland near the back of their head that releases a bad tasting poison. Uh, this is to this is a defense mechanism. Uh, if a predator eats a toad, uh, it's obviously not going to taste very good. So then, hopefully, the they no longer uh, get eaten. The second the second order is Caudata. Now, Caudata contains about 400 different species of salamanders and newts. Um, salamanders. salamanders tend to live in moist areas, but newts tend to be aquatic. Um, unlike frogs and toads, salamanders and newts both have long, slim bodies. So you notice this is a long, these bodies are longer, they're slim and they have necks and tails. Uh, salamanders have four legs, thin, most, moist skin, and cannot live far from water at all. Uh, they lay their eggs near the water, and their larvae look like mini salamanders, except that they have gills instead of the lungs. Um, newts tend to be aquatic throughout their lifetime, never uh, really leaving, never really leaving the water. Our last order, our last order is Gymnophenia, which is about 150 species of worm-like Sicilians. These are tropical animals living in uh, tropical forests of South America, Africa, and Asia. And they are a burrowing animal. Uh, they're legless and worm-like. If you look, this, really, this picture really does look very similar to uh, an earthworm. These are uh, legless animals. Notice that they lack those limbs and they burrow into the soil and feed on worms and other invertebrates. Uh, they're nearly blind because skin covers their eyes uh, so they don't rely on sight as much as our other amphibians and they lay their eggs in moist soil that's located near water.